it was just getting back. I haven't been playing last. I didn't play much last season after uh, getting hurt after the fourth game of the season. So I didn't play much. And then coming here and getting back on the field and just just feeling that like intensity and, and just the crowd being in the game and, and things like that. It, it it's no better feeling than just getting back and then scoring the first touchdown, scoring the touchdown at the end of the game. Like, my adrenaline was rushing. When, uh, they, that play gets called into the huddle for the, the trick play. <sighs> Keon. Keon talked about you guys knew that was going to score. I mean, what, what was kind of your reaction when you heard that play kind of come in? Well, well, when I heard it play and I was, I was running in and then I looked at Keon. Keon just looked at me and smiled. I don't even know what he said. He smiled and said something. I just knew he said it's about to be a touchdown. So uh, Matt came into the to the huddle and looked at Matt. Matt had a smirk on his face. Everybody was just like, oh, we're going we gonna to score on this one. And then when it happened, Gabe smoked the ball. He tossed it uh, to Matt. As soon as, my, as soon as Matt got the ball, I just started running down the field because I knew I seen Keon. And I was like, yes, this is a touchdown right here. And then, that just kind of like, made the game more exciting, more fun. I think it's just the, the guys just coming in with a mentality like we got to win. And the pain that we felt after losing that game against Notre Dame, you could, you could just feel it. As soon as we walked into the locker room after the game, it was like everybody's all quiet and a couple people had their heads down. But it was no, it was no reason to have our heads down. We, we fought. But it's just – you, you got to have that mentality like we can't lose anymore. And somebody somebody's going to feel the pain that we felt after we lost against Notre Dame. So the mentality that we're going to have this week and every week here on out, it's like we're not losing. We're going to win. And that's, that's, not a, that's not what we think. It's what we know. That's the mentality that you got to have here and, and just going out and playing every game like we played against Notre Dame, giving it everything, no matter who the opponent is. How anxious are you for your first sack of the season? Very. Um, if you if you watch the clips of the the three sacks we have this season, every single one of those sacks they could have gave me possibly a point five. <laughs> I was involved in all three of those sacks. Um, <laughs> Like the the two sacks yesterday, I actually was the, the first guy to like tackle him. I had his legs, and then Micah came like really fast and just totally took him out. Even though I was the one who like was bringing him down, since Micah took him out so hard, they didn't give it to me at all. And then the <laughs> the first sack that Micah had, I was the one that I ran the twist game and I uh, put a lot of pressure on the quarterback. I actually bull rushed the the guard into the quarterback. The quarterback tripped over the, the guy I was um, bull rushing, and he fell down, and Micah jumped on him, and then I jumped on him too. <laughs> and then the first game, the first game I jumped at the quarterback, and um, if you watch it co closely, I watched this like 100 times. <laughs> I, was, I jumped at the quarterback. I actually t hit him hard enough to bring him down. Once he was going down, his offensive lineman held him up, <laughs> and then David Dean came in and just tackled everyone. <laughs> So I've been as close as you can possibly get to getting some sort of sack. I've had people on Facebook and social media like, yeah, Trent, there's Trent, another sack. I'm like, no, I haven't got one yet. <laughs> guy that makes those decisions, those stats is right around the corner. <laughs> if we can play like how we played the last game offensively for you know the rest of the season, I think we'll be a very good offense. and. Um, uh, you know, we'll just get better with time. You hadn't been in much huddle situations with John until now. What, what's been your impression about his on-field leadership? Yeah, that is true. I didn't even really think about that. Uh, um, yeah, I mean, you know, going back just to last year, being on the sidelines and watching, I, I really just – love how John's really doesn't let anything shake him and he just comes in and has fun and um, I think that's like you know a very positive thing on the offense to you know be loose and have fun and make plays and I think I think that's really his best attribute is um, just keeping everybody positive 
and moving forward. And you know, I think I think you know, uh, yeah, he doesn't flinch when things get tough or when things get good. He kind of you know just keeps pushing forward. <laughs> I've never seen a guy celebrate like a two yard gain more than he does. Like, <laughs> is he ever like get down? And his body language is always kind of so positive. I've yeah. never seen him like you know ticked off or anything like that. Um. I mean, like sometimes in walkthroughs or something, if people aren't focused, then he gets kind of angry. But <laughs> other than that, not. I mean, he's a very positive guy, um, and I think I think that's really good out of your quarterback because you can't have a quarterback make a mistake and then get scared to throw the ball and do all that. I don't think he's like that at all. What's his relationship like with Kanan? I mean, they said they're roommates, but yeah. they obviously see them. Well, we yeah, I mean, you can, I mean, <laughs> you can like tell just on the field that, you know, he's looking for Kanan <laughs> as much as he can. Uh, you know, they just like, you know, s since they got here, it's been, you know, the kind of uh, like Severin John's connection kind of, you know, it's just, you know, back even like in weenie bowls and all that, you know, he's always throwing him the rock. Jay, uh, <laughs> at this press conference last week, there were a lot of questions about Notre Dame's tradition and mystique and the atmosphere of Scott Stadium. It's going to be different <coughs> Saturday against the FCS opponent. It won't be a sellout crowd. Are these difficult games to get up for when uh, you don't have all the built-in hype around the game? Yeah, I mean, I think regardless, like, I mean, I don't know. I remember talking to Ross like at UCLA and then against Notre Dame, and you just kind of have to remind yourself that it's just like if you're at the indoor facility, just you know, playing, practicing. You know, it's kind of you know, it's the same kind of thing. It doesn't really matter what's going on around you. Um, and you know, I think I don't. I mean, I think for me and Ross, like we kind of feel like that because we're fifth years. But I think for younger guys, it's harder to kind of realize that that stuff doesn't matter as much. Um, and that really, it really is just like on the field. Um, so, I mean, uh, you know, it'll, I mean, it'll be a different atmosphere, but hopefully we'll still play the, the same way that I mean, we should. Is the for that first win enough? Should that be enough to motivate the team, regardless of who's in the stands or who the other team is? Um, yeah, I mean, you're always going to want to win the game, so. Um, yeah, I think we just, you know, because I, I think we just have to play a dominant game on the O-line and, um, you know, just do the best that we can do.